Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi has warned that a new level of force will be used to return normalcy within the violence-prone Kerio Valley. This comes after bandits attacked a school bus ferrying students from top secondary school at Kerio Valley, killing the driver and injuring students and their teachers. And as Raquel Moigai reports, the Education Cabinet Secretary has warned school heads against ignoring the ministry's directive that no school bus should ferry students past 6.30 p.m. At the AIC Kapsu Admission Hospital, students who escaped death by a whisker are receiving treatment. The bullets removed from their bodies a clear definition of the Thursday night horror at Kerio Valley. These students are emotionally disturbed, they are having trauma, and uh, that's why I've said that they need to be cancelled. According to the students, the bandits stopped them before raining gunfire on their bus. More than 12 hours later, at around 2 p.m. on Friday, and the bus was still at the scene of the incident. The body of the bus bearing the brunt of the bandit's fury, the bullet holes visible. At the time, it acted as a shield for the scared learners. Despite Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoa and his interior counterpart condemning the attack, they directed blame at the principal of Tot Secondary School. If a bus is out beyond 6.30, it should go to the nearest police station and it should stay there. We have to protect the lives of our children because the deaths that have occurred are really careless and useless. It, it, it should not have happened. That school was in violation of government policy of moving children beyond 6 o'clock at night. The attack took place at 10.30. And I agree with the Inspector General who will arrest that principal and his out be prosecuted for violating public policy. Statements that did not go down well with area leaders as well as the locals. What happens if they come to the dormitory? Will you arrest the principal? The principal will not be arrested. I was expecting military helicopters today hovering around theatre constituency looking for people with guns and arresting criminals. According to CS Matiangi, the bandits have been disguising themselves as cattle rustlers to commit crimes. Next week, I am going to the National Security Council to seek authorization of the council to declare the Pokot warriors and the Pokot movement there an outlawed organization and we will categorize them the same way we categorize MRC and the terror groups that we have in the country. What that means in terms of security is that we are going to apply a new level of force and fire. Matiangi has also implored the leaders in the area to take charge and avoid inciting locals about use of guns and bullets as the only way to resolve the insecurity issue. Four students and two teachers admitted at the Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital in Eldoret are in critical condition. Raquel Mwigai, Citizen TV.